Listen, guys, if there's one universal truth to the world that every single person over the age of two should not only understand, but fully abide by, it is this. If it's too good to be true, you're going to get screwed. Why, hello there, guys, and welcome back to not only surviving, but thriving, living in Thailand with me, your crazy, kooky host. Yes, it is the doctor that brings you the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Thailand, coming at you live from positively perfect Phuket, Thailand. Guys, listen, I'm going to give you some good, some bad, and then some really, really ugly at the end of this video. The good thing is, just last week, there was a taxi driver coming from the airport who found a $4,500 Louis Vuitton bag in his cab. Guys, I'm not going to butcher his name because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to upset him or insult his family. So here's his name. Good luck pronouncing that one. He helped the Chinese lady that lost it actually get this back. He worked with the tourist police, also the hotels, and he was able to get this bag back to the lady which is absolutely fantastic. Now, on the dark side and the uh, bad, how about the tuk-tuk driver two weeks ago that, find, that found the Apple iPhone Pro 13 or Pro Max 13, whatever they call those stupid things now. Anyways, he decided he was going to keep it, try to wipe it out and sell it, not understanding. And how they don't get this, guys, the Find My Phone app, it is wonderful, by the way. If you're not using it, you guys should pause this video and go and use it because most people have lost their phone at some time. Anyways, this guy wound up getting charged. They found him, and uh, yeah, he's, he's in shit creek at this moment all because he tried to keep somebody's phone. Now, that brings us to a scam, guys, that happens not only in Thailand, but all over the world, okay? So I want to warn you guys about this. If you land here in Thailand, or anywhere for that matter, and the taxi driver is offering to sell you something such as an iPhone or a Louis Vuitton bag, blah, 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 do not buy it. 99% of the time, it is stolen. It is also pretty much illegal in every single country for a taxi driver to not turn that bag into an authority, be it his boss or the local police, etc., etc. But what is happening down here anyways, there's been a couple examples of it where the taxi driver is saying to someone, oh, listen, you know what, my last fare, they left this camera, they flew out of the country, blah, 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 do you want a great deal on it? Or they're saying, listen, I bought this for myself, but you know, times are really bad because of the situation, the lock, you know what I'm talking about, guys. And what happens is they sell it to you for like half of what you think is a good deal, okay? Like you're thinking 500 bucks, but they give it to you for like 250. However, they know where they're dropping you off because they're taking you to your hotel. All of a sudden, the, that night or the next night, a policeman shows up at the hotel asking to speak to you, talking about you have stolen goods. And what they do is they scare the shit out of you. And typically, the good thing for you is this, okay? They're usually saying, listen, if you give us back the phone or the bag, the camera, whatever it was, we won't charge you, no fines, nothing like that. So you're thinking, okay, great, because, you know, I don't want to go to jail or you don't want to pay a fine. You just give the... And then they take and they sell it the next day to somebody else. It's actually kind of genius when you think about it because uh, it's a scam that uh, they can just keep repeating and repeating all of the time, guys. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. And, uh, again, I'm going to be doing a video in a couple of days giving you one of the best travel tips ever. So check that one out. It is coming up. Hopefully I'm going to release it Friday morning, most American time anyways. Um, now, the last one, guys, and this is the ugly thing that is happening here in Phuket, and I know that it has happened because I've actually sat and talked to a couple of guys that have had this experience, and man, this one really sucks. They're going on Thai Friendly, and I'm going to tell you guys, again, I've talked about Thai Friendly till I'm blue in the face. There are so many pretty girls on there that are... Well, they're freelancers, they're scammers, they're ladyboys. Not only that, what they're doing is they're taking pictures of girls that, 
look to be in like their 20s and stuff, okay? And then all of a sudden, the girl is showing up and she's not quite the girl in the pictures. And, you know, she's going on about how, oh, here, let me, you know, let me go and take a shower first, okay? She goes, she gets in the shower and you're thinking, okay, fantastic because, well, you you know how the freelancer game works here and you understand, you know, that yeah, it could be a little iffy if she's not clean. So you're kind of enjoying the fact that she's taking a shower. So while she's in the shower, half an hour, 45 minutes later, there's a knock on the door and guess who it is? It's the cops coming because you're in there with an underage girl. She comes out, her ID is in her bag, they look at it. Now, before you guys go on, I'm going to tell you something. This misconception that the hotels check the IDs and keep the IDs here in Thailand is simply not true, guys. I'm gonna tell you something. I know all kinds of hotels that don't do it. I know girls that work at the hotels that say, listen, we don't do it because we don't wanna cause any problems with the guests. We don't want the guests getting upset with us. So don't believe that the hotel is going to protect you guys because most likely they're not going to, okay? Now, this scam happens and guys, it sucks because you're in a room all of a sudden with this girl who most of the time, honestly, guys, is not underage, but her ID, which is faked, and you can't tell what's a real ID and what's not a real ID, boys. Nobody can unless you're a forensic expert. All of a sudden, you're scared thinking that you're going to jail for underage, and all of a sudden, you're giving them every single dollar that you have, and if not, they're getting you to go with one of them down to the ATM to get some money out, guys. So the good, the bad, the ugly, it's all here. Just watch yourself. Be careful. Live your best life when you come here, boys, and uh, try to avoid the scams. And again, listen to you. Listen, boys, please listen to this. If it looks too good or it sounds too good to be true, such as someone trying to sell you a Louis Vuitton bag, a camera, a phone, or you go on Thai Friendly and you meet some really smoking hot chick and she's willing to come over to your room for free, give your head a shake, boys, please, because most likely you are getting scammed and I don't want that to happen to you, boys, because if you're getting scammed, you're not living your best life at all. Not at all, not in the least bit. And uh, anything less than the best, I promise you will be a felony. Even Vanilla Ice will tell you that, boys. So until next time, cheers and stay safe.